Two of the render engines that are popular nowadays are V-Ray and Arnold. It is true that they are both useful and powerful, but each one of them has specific and different features. That's why we will make a comparison between the two engines to help you pick the best one for your particular project's needs. V-Ray is a popular and powerful render engine used in media, entertainment, architecture, product design, in addition to film, video games, and industrial design. It was created in 1997 and has been used on a wide scale since the early 2000s and it kept growing over the years. On the other hand, Arnold is an advanced Monte Carlo ray tracing render engine on a desk bought in 2016. Overall, it was made to stand out to VFX and animation production demands, and it offers a powerful and straightforward rendering experience that delivers stunning results for many industries. Over the years, it has been used in many small and big projects from architectural visualization to big budget Hollywood blockbusters. The Interface V-Ray's interface is not as chaotic as you may suspect. It is simple and straightforward. The toolbar has several other toolbars with easy shortcuts to some of the most utilized V-Ray features. In V-Ray's interface, you can find the frame buffer that contains an assortment of extra rendering tools. And V-Ray Color Picker is a shading manager that allows numeric color value selection in green and rendering color spaces. In addition to all these tools, a file manager allows you to run all of your scene files in a single place in addition to creating scene archives, set file paths, and keep track of assets like surface and textures, IES files, and proxy objects. Arnold also has an intuitive interface that makes it straightforward and user-friendly. Moreover, it makes it easy to toggle between CPU and GPU rendering, maintaining the same settings with a single click. The interface comes with few parameters, which allows you to focus on realism, lighting, and adding materials that fit your project. Rendering Speed as we all know, rendering speed is one of the most important features users look out for before choosing a render engine. V-Ray comes with a huge number of manual settings, and these different settings enabled clients to radically diminish the rendering time while maintaining superior results. In biased-based rendering, Arnold also helps you focus on being creative rather than spending a lot of time going through settings. However, it lags behind V-Ray in certain aspects. And regardless of the distinction in speed between these two rendering software, both of them have outstanding performance. This makes it hard to say which one is better than the other completely in terms of speed, because V-Ray performs ideally in biased mode, while Arnold beats it in the unbiased mode. Despite that, both render engines match each other up in terms of speed and interface efficiency to a certain extent. Rendering Settings if you are new to rendering, render settings can appear to be remarkably challenging as there are numerous tabs and menus with settings to adjust. Render settings windows in V-Ray host several settings in both V-Ray and V-Ray RT, and depending on which mode you use, the settings may require changes at each time. But you can get ready to use settings examples in forums or even in the Kinds group platform. When it comes to Arnold, it can be a little bit more difficult as there are pretty hard settings you need to go through to use different features. However, you can find also ready settings examples in forums or Autodesk guides as well. Materials The most recent versions of Arnold did not come with a ready material library in order to reduce the software size. However, Autodesk made them available online and ready to download at any time. These materials allow you to practice applying textures without spending a lot of time figuring out how to make them yourself, which can be very troublesome as a beginner. There are numerous types of materials such as glass, wood, stone, etc. This all can be applied with a simple drag and drop. On the other hand, V-Ray comes with a ready material library in which you can find a lot of different materials that you can use in your projects and also there are free and paid materials that you can download online. Real-time rendering Arnold recently introduced the ability to render using the GPU in early 2019. This allows you to render projections of your final image quickly. With this, you can also visualize how certain textures and lighting will interact with each other without having to wait hours to see the final result. You can see this through an interactive preview area, which is a window that shows you what the render scene looks like in real time. And when you update the scene, the APR updates almost instantly, increasing your workflow exponentially. V-Ray also has a V-Ray RT, which allows you to get practically real-time feedback on your scene without standing by to render each frame each time. You can move the camera, change materials, lighting, objects, and so forth, and they naturally update inside your viewport. 
CPU and GPU rendering. V-Ray has the advantage of using all the resources of your machine because it can do rendering on both CPU and GPU setups. Likewise, when it is a hybrid render, V-Ray can naturally render files on CPU and GPU systems simultaneously. On the other hand, Arnold also can currently be used for production rendering on both GPU and CPU, and users can switch between them in a single click, empowering them to pick up the type of rendering that fits their need, workflow, and hardware. V-Ray and Arnold use in different industries. Arnold is used by small firms and large studios worldwide. It is often used by big budget studios, including Sony, Disney, Marvel, and so on. And it has been used in big budget projects such as the Avengers in 2012 and Pacific Rim in 2013, in addition to many more as well. It is also used in other industries, including animation, architecture, interior design, automotive design, fashion, and product design. On the other hand, V-Ray is heavily used by numerous experts and specialists in different industries such as engineering, interior design, gaming, and product manufacturing. Moreover, it is used by a lot of studios producing Hollywood films. For instance, Avengers Infinity War and Game of Thrones both used V-Ray. Software Compatibility the Arnold renderer is available for 3DS Max, Cinema 4D, Maya, Houdini, Katana, and Softimage. However, it has also a standalone version available on Linux, Windows, and Mac. On the other hand, Vera is available for 3DS Max, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Revit, Maya, Unreal Engine, and a host of other software. In addition to that, it also has a Vera standalone application. The Learning Curve V-Ray is user-oriented. It gives designers and artists the opportunity and the freedom to control many aspects of the render and what amount of time it is going to require. In case you want to focus on photorealism, V-Ray and Arnold are both great choices. You will be able to generate some nice renders as a beginner with hours of practice, but if you want the professional results, you have to put in the effort. For the most part, it will take you around one week to learn V-Ray, but if you are starting fresh, it can take you two weeks to one month to gain proficiency and learn the basics. Learning V-Ray tools will not take you a long time, but learning the techniques and rendering to complete a photorealistic image will take you a long time to achieve because there are a lot of nuances and techniques you need to learn. On the other hand, Arnold is also a user-friendly render engine that can provide you with straightforward and simple experience as a beginner. However, it cannot be easy to learn when it comes to more nuanced techniques because it was designed to cater to the needs of big-budget VFX projects. When it comes to simple and basic renders, it can be easy and it can help you get good results. When it comes to learning resources, V-Ray is much more abundant because it has been used by many artists and studios for over two decades and you will not be disappointed if you want to learn it. Pricing and Licensing The average monthly price for V-Ray is $80 and the V-Ray's institutional license is $99 per year and V-Ray 5 for 3DS Max Workstation's license costs $1180. The price for an annual Arnold subscription is $360 and the price for a monthly Arnold subscription is $45. And for a three-year subscription, you will have to pay $970. So as you can see, Arnold is significantly more affordable, which can be great as a start. Also, if you are a user of 3DS Max or Maya, you will have it naturally with the software. Final thoughts. Arnold and V-Ray are both great to use and learn, but Arnold seems to be better than V-Ray when it comes to handling very dense scenes with a lot of polygons, hair, fur, liquids, and so on. That's why it was heavily used in big animation and VFX projects over the years. Moreover, Arnold's ray tracing and lighting features are particularly appealing. As previously mentioned, Arnold uses unbiased rendering, which is very good for getting perfect lighting results that can be always replicated from render to render. On the other hand, V-Ray has many options and features for optimizing and fine-tuning, but this means you have to actually learn more to get accurate results. V-Ray is a render engine that is more popular and older, with hundreds of tutorials, material libraries, and 3D models V-Ray ready to render. However, it is much more expensive than Arnold, so as you can see, both render engines are powerful. In this case, picking the right one for you or for your business depends on what you will need and what you will use for different kinds of projects. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below 
Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.